Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is Triple Gear. This is joint work with Saul Schleimer. So what is this? So there are three uh, rings and they're all linked with each other. Um, so each one is linked with uh, each of the other two. And they have this uh, gearing pattern on the outsides uh, of them. Um, so what does it do? So, um, well, you can rotate um, all of them together and they all gear with each other. Um, you can't actually uh, move just one on its own. So if you if you try and rotate one without rotating the other two, well, it just doesn't work. I mean, you're sort of forced to um, to move the other the other two as well. There's a little bit of range of motion on uh, on each of them, sort of taking it away from the threefold uh, uh, symmetry, and uh, it just sort of seizes up if you try and go too far. So they're forced to rotate together at the same speed. There's, if, if you're going to rotate them at all, they all three have to rotate. Um, so you can either get it to do this sort of holding it in midair with two, two hands. And there's another thing you can do is you put it on a table and sort of either use one hand and kind of lift all three at once, or you can do it with two hands. Um, you can also try and just hold it in one hand and, uh, and make it go just using one hand. This is, this is quite a bit trickier. Um, if, the, if they come out of uh, the threefold uh, symmetry, then it tends to seize up. And so there's, there's a little bit of skill involved in keeping them in position so that they, they, keep, uh, they keep rotating smoothly. Um, so why is this cool? Well, so um, there's a couple of things that are uh, we think uh, new about this unique. Um, so first, we've got three um, meshing gears. So so the first gear is meshing with the second gear. The second gear is meshing with the third gear, and the third gear is meshing with the first gear. And um, so the the sort of usual way you might imagine uh, doing this, and the way that's often depicted in um, inaccurate uh, uh, logos and technical diagrams and so on, um, this obviously doesn't work because you have three. Uh, three gears, and uh, the you know they have to rotate in uh, opposite. Well, two neighboring gears have to rotate in opposite directions, and so when you've got three of them, it doesn't work. And of course, here it does. And as far as we know, this is the first um, the first example uh, that anybody's tried to do, uh, which works of three gears which pairwise mesh with each other, and yet they all rotate. Um, the second interesting thing is is that they're linked together. Um, and this isn't the, the first time that anybody's put uh, gears that are sort of linked with each other. Um, the first example I know of uh, was uh, actually the inspiration for this, uh, which was um, a video by Oscar van der Venter um, of a 3D model uh, which he calls Knotted Gear. So here's a, a clip from that video. And this is, uh, these are two knots, a trefoil knot, and the inverse, so a trefoil foil knot is a 2x3 knot and the other one is a 3x2 and they gear well, like two gears into each other and so of course um, we saw this and, and thought well can you do this with three um, rather than two um, and it's a little um, it's a little more in, involved in some ways that the, each, um, each of these rings has Three different parts which have uh, gearing on them. There's, there's these ones in the in the uh, the interior of the ring, and then there are two different uh, kinds out here. Um, and the the well, these two are the same slope, but the ones in the middle are a little bit a bit of a different slope, um, which is necessary to get it to work with the different uh, sort of radii from the axes that they rotate at. Um, one other thing to say, uh, if you if you do buy this. Um, uh, due to the way that the 3D printing works, it may come together um, slightly fused together so that the uh, that it's actually held in place. Um, but you can sort of snap them apart, um, moving it in, in this way um, for each of the rings, uh, kind of loosens up um, some, some sort of half-fused uh, plastic dust in the joints, um, and then it gets smoother as, as, as you continue, uh, continue playing with it. And um, I'm at least finding it very addictive. Um, you just sort of have to keep rotating it. 
Okay, so there you go, this is uh, triple gear.